How's it going YouTube? So today we're unboxing with time. As you see here is a digital wireless weather station. Um, so that was kind of tricky here. I'll see how it is when I open it. Uh, one of my previous ones, it was colored like this, but in actuality it was all white, but then they just put a little color film here and here and you know, wherever just to kind of change the color but all it is is just light going through like a blue film or a yellow film so we'll we'll open it up and we'll you know see what it actually is so it has a uh, ice alert indoor outdoor temperature of course you use this little unit here i assume uh seven weather seven plus uh day weather forecast and it shows the moon phases and alarm uh, i don't think People actually use these for alarms, but at least it has something there. Here's a uh, email, which I actually use Hotmail, which you know I always find that funny. I don't have their own company email, but whatever. High definition color display. All right, so you read that right? I think my other one actually said that too, but it wasn't really a high definition uh, color display. But we'll find out. Twelve twenty four hour format. I'm a 12 hour format type of person. I want to see that AM, PM. Temperature in both Celsius and Fahrenheit. Uh, moon phases. Mold indicator. Oh. Dew point and heat index. Mold indicator. That's pretty cool. I didn't think I saw that up front anywhere. Okay. Well, we'll see what that high definition display will show. Um, It actually includes batteries. Look at that. Batteries included, uh, AAA switch two and triple A's for the outdoor sensor. All right, well, that's enough talking. Let's pop this thing open. Quality sealed, which is always a good thing. Then take a few seconds to have one of these added onto your box, and definitely do not ship open box items as new to your customers. I've gotten that a couple times, Amazon, but that's okay. This one's brand new unboxing here. Here comes the manual. I'm sure I will need to read it. But I'm just not going to read it right now for you. Again, I already talked about all of that. And I'll flip through this real quick. You pause. If you want to come back to this. Choosing a date manually. Choosing location, attention, blah, 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 blah. Place based for moisture, place it in a dry and closed space. So, you know, just don't leave it out next to a tree, just put it under <laughs> under some covering, and you know, don't don't have sun directly hit it, right? Um, yeah, that's about it. So, okay, here's okay, what's that say? Mildew, moldew, okay, well, that's not really useful information, but. Okay, because I'm assuming that's going to be on pretty much all the time. There's always going to be mold out there, right? So here's the little graphics that you'll see. Sunny, part of cloudy, overcast, rain, thunderstorm, snowfall, heavy snowfall. Look at that. So it's from two flakes to three flakes. All right, you remember that, okay? <laughs> you see two flakes, hey, that's snow. Heavy snowfall is just that little extra snowflake in the center. All right. Okay, here's a display. Okay, it's a little bit smaller than I, I thought, but you know, that's okay. Here's your batteries. There's a little display here. Hmm. Ah, uh, has that like a kind of like a factory electronic clean, cleaning uh, smell. I always love that smell. It just reminds me when I was a little kid opening up Christmas stuff. It always has that smell when I open up electronic stuff. Alright, so anyways, let's go ahead and pop this open here. Oh, man, let's use that tape that sticks to everything. Okay, here we go. So here's the back. Here's the legs. You just pop it out. Very nice. Built-in legs. Um, let's pop this here. As you can see, the battery door reveals what batteries you need, which is the dual, double, triple A's. That side. 
one battery. Logo up. Battery number two. So when y'all put batteries in, do y'all care about stuff like this? Making sure that the logo's up. <laughs> no one knows about it except for you. But I don't know. I, I always do that. All right. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So it's the keel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Stick that over here. So, as you can see, actually, yeah, it is color display. Car is not super duper bright. But, um, I'm trying to say. Oh, well, yeah, no, that's more, more than bright enough. Oh. So, what? If someone walks by, would it turn on? Oh, okay. Well, that's something I don't have to read. Um, I don't know, right? So when does this thing actually turn on to let you know the weather? Look at that. It's already turned off. What's the deal? Because I don't want to have to walk by to touch this in order to see it, right? You want it here on all the time, which will probably kill the battery faster, which I'm fine with. Or if it has kind of, kind of like a walk-by sensor to let you know if someone comes walking by, it turns on. I want to come over here and touch it each time. Okay, well, all right. As for a further discussion. <laughs> and here goes this one here. This is the external one. Okay, so this one's going to be a screw on, huh? Okay, fine. I'll go ahead. And let's do this together. Screw, two screw. Let's see if we have to do this out all the way, or will it automatically let you open? Okay, it's an all the way type thing. Well, just do it above the box, right? So when the screw falls, it falls inside the box, not onto the floor where you have to get on your hands and knees and look for it. Okay, actually, okay, not bad. It stayed on. Yeah, see, so the nice uh, brass screwed in here, so it's not going to rust over time. Because one of my soap dispenser, it didn't have that type of, uh, like, a screw protection type thing. It just kind of goes into plastic or something. And that thing rusted up within, like, a day of use. I thought that was pretty crappy of them to not, you know, it's, you know this type of item. It's a hand soap dispenser. It's going to be in moist, damp area 24-7. They didn't care but that's not here or there nor did it really affect the device so I can't really keep complaining too much about that I guess other than it looks pretty nasty whenever I open the top to put in more soap soap for the dispenser all you see is that little nasty cruddy rust around the screw build up but obviously this one will not have it I hope okay so screw it back Right, tidy. Okay. Two, four, five, six, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay. There's another kill for you. <laughs> I'm doing it to a phone, but the microphone's over here. <laughs> so you probably didn't hear it. So it says temperature here is about 76, 57% what moisture in here? Okay, well, that's nice to know. And thank you for not lighting up. Okay, oh, what's this? Oh, does it come with a power brick? I mean, it should. I didn't see it on the outside thing, but yes, it does. Well, okay, so I'm hoping I'm going to plug it in right now just to find out that once it's plugged in, it will just stay on 24-7. What do you think? Taking bets? Taking bets? Do you think? Yes or no? Leave a comment below. Do you think it'll stay on more, longer? Or it'll still turn off after like, what was that, maybe uh, less than 10 seconds? And just uh, give me some wire slack here and then I'll seal the rest. So I'll have a big tangle of cord mess here. Cord management to the minimal. <laughs> That's a lazy way of cord management, I guess. And I bet this cord's not going to be long enough to do that. Eh, good enough. Okay. Let's knock the fingerprints 
on the front here. Okay, here's the ace, uh, the DC BV. Is that five volts? Zero volts? Is, is that what it's saying? Oh, uh, DC 5.0 volts. Okay, duh. Okay. Okay, so it's plugged in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There you go. So once it's plugged in, this light will stay on 24-7, which is awesome. That's exactly what I think it, <laughs> this type of display should do. And it does. So I complained about it for nothing. So at least we have battery for backup supplies just in case. But I mean, if you lost power in your house, I don't think knowing the temperature as of the outside is as pertinent. But I guess, yeah, maybe. Anyways, oh, what's that blinking red? Is it trying to sing? Indoor, outdoor. Oh, channel two. I think this was on channel one. How can I switch that? Can I do it without reading instructions? I don't think so. Here, let's try that. Two, three, bam. Okay, that wasn't really too hard. Easy. Uh, as you see, here's a little Wi-Fi looking logo with one, two, three. That's why I push. So this could have up to um, three, obviously, of these uh, outdoor type things. Maybe you can put two in the different rooms. Upstairs, downstairs, wine cellar, basement, and one for outdoors. And as you can see right now, this is the indoor one. <laughs> and... Well, yeah, that's about it, right? The display is actually really nice. Uh, it's not super duper bright at certain angles, but at an off angle is when it's actually really bright, which I think it makes sense because if you're looking at it dead on, it kind of fades away. And in general, you're never really looking at it dead on, but almost at an angle. I think that's kind of a cool thing that they, they did, right? Look at all the off angles. It's super duper bright, except for lower. Well, no. That angle is pretty bright and from above. Yeah, that's pretty cool. But look, if you look dead on, then it fades away. A little bit funny. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Makes sense. I'm glad they, they put in that type of detail because you're never really on the first uh, first plane axis of the LCD. So, hey, that's cool. Um, Other than that, that's it. Again, this is from what time? Digital Wireless Weather Station. It does everything, and obviously, it's not signifying mold right now. So, hey, there's no mold inside my house. All right. Hope you enjoyed this unboxing. So far, I really like this. I mean, look at the color. There's actually really a color difference. <laughs> yeah, I don't see it as this little film that they would put in certain squares or anything. All right. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. If you have more comments, leave it below. I don't think I need to do a long-term review on this because, you know, it's just going to sit there. But in actuality, I did have one similar to this, and it did die within six months. The display just, just pretty much froze. I switched out the batteries. I did the typical tap-tap here. Then the bang-bang on the table. Then hard drop on the floor. It did not uh, unfreeze the LCD. So next move was straight to the trash. So maybe in six months, a year, I'll let you know this is still up and running. But I think this will. Quality of this is actually really nice. I mean, it's hard plastic. I would say above average plastic. It's not the typical thin plastic. But you can tell this is a little thick plastic. Um, the buttons give it a nice uh, click, tactile click. Built-in stands is nice and firm. You can tell it won't break. It's actually, this is a premium plastic. Not bad. Um, yeah, here's the little speaker. The FC logo. Do not trash. Disposal. Uh, make sure you recycle. The model of this is the WT2081. AAA needs two. Made in China. Company logo. Here's the top. There's a snooze for the alarm and the light. And Other than that, this that's, that's about it. I mean, so far, the, I like the item. It's very high quality. This is not backlit. Not a big deal because you'll be using this most of the time. But it's just nice to have a little display on this anyway, just in case you're sitting outside barbecuing. You just want to kind of know the temperature of the outside. At least you're able to see it. But it's not backlit. 
nor does it really need to be. It would have been a nice touch if it did, but it's not needed. But this again, same thing, nice uh, premium uh, plastic. Uh, yeah. All the seams are nice and smooth. So this is a high quality product. It's been, you know, it's, it's a pretty good product. All right. Leave it there. See you on the next one.